goal or expectation for God's hands to reach out unto you. I have our dear pastor who is going to lead us to the you know throne of grace today. And I want to assure you that if you will make your faith to be alive, you will not go back the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our pastor has come from Nigeria. He's a senior pastor in the First Square Gospel Church in Nigeria by God's grace. And uh, I'm so happy because we've been together for many years and God will use him tonight to lead us in the, into the presence of God. So I want to welcome my dear pastor, Reverend Dr. Wale Olufeko. God bless you. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Yes, let's put that together for our dear pastor, Wale Olufeko. What to you, sir? God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, you are welcome into the presence of the Lord tonight. As we train together, God in his mercy will visit every one of us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I want you to shout a powerful hallelujah. hallelujah. Our God, as the Bible says, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, 21. He said, the Lord is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, Above all, we ask or think of, yes. according to the power that lies in our heart. Amen. Yes. I want us to begin to appreciate God for another opportunity to seek his face, to ask from him, because he is always ready to hear our voice. Can you lift up your voice and begin to thank God? Thank God for life. Thank God for protection. Thank God for provision. Thank God for your health, for sun man. Thank God for making you to be among the living. Some desire to see today, but they have gone to the great beyond. But God out of his mercy has kept us. Can we just lift up our hand and thank him? I want you to sing a beautiful song unto the Lord. All he has done for you, all he has done for your family, all he has done for your work that you are able to go out today and you came back safely. It's not by power, it's not by man. Daddy will thank you. Daddy will honor you. Jehovah will exalt you. Thank you for another opportunity to seek your face. Thank you for the salvation of our soul. Thank you, Lord, for the battles you have won on our behalf. Thank you because you have settled it all. There's no more need for sacrifice. No more shedding of blood. No more ritual. Jesus settled it all. Daddy, we thank you. We honor you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We say you are a faithful God. Receive it, O oh God. Glory to your name. Can we sing this song together? When I think of the mercies of the Lord forever. Now I see all the mercies of the Lord. When I sing, I will sing all the mercies of the Lord forever. I will all the mercies of the Lord with my heart, with my mouth. Will I make known that faithfulness, God's faithfulness with my mouth? Will I make known? Faithfulness to all generations. I will see all the mercies of the Lord forever. I will see all the 
mercies of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Open your mouth and thank him. Thank him for your wife. Thank you for your children. Thank you for the blood and the, the, your veins, the water that flow through your body. Some are looking for blood today. Some have not a, a serious problem. But God has kept you to come together to seek his face. Daddy, we thank you that we are not under bondage. We are not under the plan and devices of the devil. That the Lord has helped us to be alive to seek his face, that daddy will honor you. To you be the glory. To you be the honor. To you be the adoration. Blessed be thy name. Glory to God. In Jesus' mighty name, we do worship. Amen. I want you to begin to ask the Lord, that Lord, henceforth, I am no more under bondage. Lord, I thank you for my freedom. Because you have settled it on the cross of Calvary. Daddy, I appreciate you. The word of God says that in the book of Romans, chapter 7, look at verse 4 there. The word of God says, we are for my brethren. You also become dead to the law by the blood of Christ, that you should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. Hallelujah. See what Jesus has done for us. He paid the sacrifice for our sin. He gave us freedom. Can you begin to thank God for your freedom? That you are not under bondage. So even as we are talking, are in darkness, they are in court. They must provide the sacrifice so that they can continue to live according to the covenant they have with the devil. But God has kept us through. He shed his blood on the cross of Calvary. He gave all and he said it is finished. No more sacrifice. Thank God for the salvation of your soul. Thank God because you are no more under bondage. Hallelujah. Daddy, we honor you. Jehovah, we honor you. The Bible says in Romans chapter 7, verse 6, but now we are delivered from the law. Being dead, we are here, we are here that we shall serve in newness of the spirit. Hallelujah. I love that. We are no more under bondage. We are delivered. Delivered from sin. Deliver from self, deliver from Satan, deliver from the pleasures of this world, deliver from every manipulation of darkness. Daddy, we honor you for counting us worthy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus, we honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray. I want you to also thank God for the grace to overcome the flesh, that the law and the flesh don't have dominion over you again. In this liberty, we lift up our voice and our hands unto him. He who is our mediator, who he died on the cross on Calvary. He shed his blood and he paid for the remission of our sins. Lift up your hand and thank God. Lift up your voice and appreciate it. Because you are no more under bondage. We are no more under law. Let's sing that song. Thank you, Jesus. The runner of our soul. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised in all generation. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised one more time. Thank you, Jesus, the runner of our soul. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. In our generation, there is no more like you. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. We are going to pray. Say after me, oh Lord, I thank you again because I am delivered from every satanic influences, from every satanic affliction, from every satanic sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 1 says, For the Lord has been a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things can never, with those sacrifice, which they offer year by year continually, make the customer, the customers, their road perfect. Hallelujah. But Jesus Christ has entered into the holies of holies to pay the sacrifice for us. Thank you, dear God, because we are delivered from every satanic ignorance. We are delivered from every satanic ambition. 
Jesus paid the price. He paid the price. Hallelujah. Daddy, we honor you. We honor you. Because some people are under seasonal affliction. Every now and then, they have to shed blood to, to their God. Every time and now and then, they are right. one sickness or the other. They will be, the sickness will be flowing in their family. They don't know what to do about it. But for those that are in Christ, Jesus has paid it all. Glory to God. Ah, just thank God. Just thank God. Because you are not under the bondage of satanic affliction, seasonal affliction, satanic overflow, all kind of devourer, all form of uh, what wasters. Daddy, we thank you. Though we honor you, Jehovah, we exalt you. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray. Amen. The Bible told us again in Colossians chapter 2. Look at verse 14. I love that scripture. The Bible says they are putting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us. He took it out of the way. Hallelujah. Somebody, he said, set out and he took it out of the way. He nailed it to his cross. He nailed every ordinance to his cross. He nailed every affliction to his cross. He nailed every process to his cross. Oh, begin to tell the Lord. Oh, God, I thank you. Because I am free from every satanic oppression. I am free from every glorious and sacrifice of the devil. I am free because Jesus brought them away. Every andrante, every ordinance, everything contrary to the will of God in my life, there are no more under bondage. I am free. I am free. Jesus has blotted it out. Every handwriting of ordinances, they have blotted it out. I am free. I am free. Hallelujah. Let's sing this song. Jesus set me free. How shall I be bound? Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound. Hallelujah. Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. Jesus set me free. Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound, hallelujah, Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound, Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound, I cannot be bound. See, I can only oh my father. Oh Lord. I am delivered yeah. from every satanic manipulation. I am delivered from every oppression of the devil. I am delivered from every cause of this world. Jesus set me free. Can you turn into prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus, I am delivered from every cause of the world. I am delivered from every affliction of Satan. I am delivered from every influence of the enemy. The Bible told us that Jesus paid the price. He said, First is everyone that is nailed to the cross. For Jesus has been made a cross for us. He delivered from every ancestral power. He delivered from every ancestral affliction. He delivered from every ancestral sickness. Begin to tell the Lord, I claim my victory over every influence of darkness. I claim my victory over every satanic manipulation. I claim my victory over every oppression of darkness. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. I remember when I was still young in the faith. I had this challenge that people are saying it doesn't matter today. That is the challenge of masturbation. When I wake up in the morning, all oh, everywhere is wet. And I was, I was so disturbed. I was moving from one deliverance section to the other. But this problem could not go until I turned to the book of Job. Chapter 31, I started meditating, praying about, about it through this world. And with that passage, Job chapter 31, look at verse 1. He said, I have made a covenant with my eyes. Why then should I think upon a man? Hallelujah. For what portion of God is there from above? And what inheritance of the Almighty from on earth? And I started meditating, praying. Do you know what? That was how I discovered the problem disappeared. I declare today what Jesus has settled in your life. In that name, it's settled in Jesus' name. 
Whatever has been you are passing through. He said, The word I speak unto you, they are mine and they are their spirit. See, I can honor my father. So, every covenant of darkness against my life, against my destiny, from spiritual realm, I will not see them by the blood of Jesus. So Jesus said to them, I am not told you to pray out. Father, in the name of Jesus, I claim my victory over every oppression. I claim my victory over every negative dream. I claim my victory over every satanic manipulation. I am free. For Jesus has set me free. I am no longer free. In the name of Jesus, my life is free. My children are free. Every day, Oh, Thank you, Father. Jesus we know we do it. So Thank you praise of your name. Blessed be thy holy name. Hello. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Complete, complete, complete in me. Complete in me. Complete, 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 complete in me. We are complete in me. It's not a matter of righteousness. It was by far righteousness of body. Hallelujah. It's not righteousness of Jesus did it for me. Is not by your righteousness, but Jesus did it all. Oh, we are complete, 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 complete. In the name of God, we are complete in Him. Amen. Over our attachment of the devil, over our life, over Amen. our family, we Amen. are free in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray this evening concerning. The things that Jesus has fulfilled in our life that are contradicting the will of God. Now, in the book of Colossians, in chapter 2, there, look at uh, verse 21, 20 and 21. The Bible told us that Jesus Christ has delivered us from every ordinances, from every manipulation, every liturgy, all those things that you see, the devil is. Making some people to be under bond, he has set us free from them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Look at Colossians 2, verse 20. He said, Wherefore, if he be dead with Christ from the root of the world, why are those living in the world? I need subject to ordinances. Verse 21, touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are perished with using after the commandment and the ordinances of men. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, when I arrived in the UK, my friend came to pick me. And then uh, he was telling me in his car that look, oh, this vehicle, it doesn't need for you to press this, everything is censored. I said, ah, do you know the mentality I brought all the way from my I came from? I said, ah, that is preparation for Antichrist. Let uh be deceiving yourself. <laughs> May the Lord be the one from every wrong mentality in Jesus' name. Yeah. He said, all is about development. What am I bringing out here? There are rudiments of men. There are wisdom of men. There are manipulation of men, women that has kept many of us under bondage from the freedom that Jesus has, has, has set us free. 
in the name of Jesus, we are delivered in Jesus' name. Lord. So I tell you, oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God. I am delivered. I am delivered. From every mentality that is against the word of God. Um, I am delivered. delivered. From every against psychological God. defense. I, I am, am delivered from every ignorance that the enemy has put upon my life. I will make it in life. I will succeed in life. But Jesus has set me to all. And we call him to prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I remove every cobweb, every mentality, every little, little foxes that, oh God, spoil the vine in my life that has kept me in perpetual bondage. I am free. In the name of Jesus, yes. I am free because yes. the Bible says that yes. I shall know the truth and the truth will set me free. Oh Lord, whatever I have gathered from my childhood that will not allow me to possess my possession, that will not allow me to ascend the victory that you have born on the cross for me. Lord, I reject them today. I hope you are free. Lord, let us pray. Let us pray. Nobody is free from all this age. They are entanglement. They are manipulation. They don't allow us to move forward. They kept us in perpetual bondage. Listen, Jesus has set us free. In his own wisdom, in his own mercy. In the, in the way he shed the blood of the cross. He said it is finished. Yourself in your position of leaders. And begin to declare your freedom, brother. Begin to declare your freedom, sister, over your family. I don't want, I don't know whatever you are passing through now. Just tell the Lord, I am free. Whatever I am free. Little, little boxy that have been challenging you. I don't want to know their name. Doctors might have prescribed to you that that ailment is going to kill you. Is a lie. Is a lie. Is a lie. Begin to tell the Lord, I am free. I am free. I am free. Jesus has paid it all. Jesus has paid it all. Thank you, Father. Because I know you will do it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You are going to talk to me to the book of Isaiah chapter 53. You look at verse 5 there. The Bible says something that is very, very cogent to every believer, to everyone that has inheritance in him. The Bible says it was wonderful for our transgressions. It was bruised for our iniquities. He said, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And we describe we are here. Whatever has put you into bondage tonight, they will give way in Jesus' name. You can hear your amen. The Bible says he was chastised for our peace. Whatever that is challenging your peace, you are going to pray together that those things will expire. I said they shall expire. See, after the old of my father, every moment affecting my peace, affecting my journey. Injuring my progress in life, only I'll be terminated in the name of Jesus. According to the wow. word of God in Isaiah 53, verse 5. Everything that is attacking my peace, my joy, my health, oh yeah, expire, expire, expire. We are turning to prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, because you have settled it all, we declare and decree every sickness, every little, little function that is weighing out my life, that is not allowing me to progress, every negative dream that I always, that comes at seasonal period, that comes at interval, Lord, today, I reject them. In the name of Jesus, I claim my victory, I claim my peace, I claim my health, I claim, I claim my progress. I claim my success. I declare we are God has proposed me to get to. I will get there. In the name of Jesus. Oh, pray, brother. Oh, pray, man of God. Pray. There's nothing God cannot do. He said, Call upon me in time of trouble, and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things you know of. He says in his word, in Jeremiah 29, verse 11, he said, My thought of us is a thought of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end, begin to tell the Lord every evil expectation, every evil manipulation, 
every satanic cancer, they shall not stand over my life, over my family, over my ministry, with every area of my endeavor. I claim my victory. I claim my victory. I claim my victory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus. Name we pray because in me I can face tomorrow because in me oh yeah he's gone because I know he was my future and I is one. I live in just because he lives one more time. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, oh, yes, he's gone. Because I know now the Bible says something in Numbers chapter 23, verse 23. And I beg to read with you, my, my listener. Listen to what the Bible says. It says, therefore, yes, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Hallelujah. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to the time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what God are wrong. Hallelujah. What Jesus mm. has said to you. No enchantment shall overcome you. Amen. I thought the amen would be louder. I said, no divination that will overcome you. Amen. But in this freedom, Jesus has given us we overcome enchantment. We overcome divination. We overcome every libation. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, I'm going to honor my father. Amen. Every amen. negative word okay. spoken into the realm of the spirit okay. against me, against my destiny, against my family, against my career, against my realm. I revive them. It shall not come to pass. We are going into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, my Lord. Father and my Lord, we stand upon your word. The Bible says in Numbers chapter 23, verse 23, it says, surely there is no enchantment against Olawale, neither is there any divination against Lucifer, for it has been said, this is what God has wrought. I cancel every enchantment. I cancel every divination. The one that was spoken to the ear, the one that is spoken into the water, the one that is spoken into the, the, the realm of the spirit, I will reverse them over my life. I reverse them over my family. I reverse them over my destiny in the name of Jesus. Jesus has paid it all. He set it on the cross of Calvary. He said in his word, hey, Come unto me, all ye that are in labor and heavy learning, and I will give you rest. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. I stand upon that scripture and I declare every perfect from the realm of the spirit, every word that the enemy has spoken. Lord, I counsel them by the blood of Jesus. I counsel them by the blood of Jesus. I counsel them by the blood of Jesus. I counsel every I counsel every every satanic manipulation. I counsel every definition. Lord, it shall not come to pass even in my life in the name of Jesus. Matufaka Mighty name, we do pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray. Amen. Jesus must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. Jesus must be honored. 
every day. Hallelujah. Jesus must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. Jesus must be honored. In my life. Every day. We are going to reverse every negative word you have spoken. You know, some people, when they get angry, when things are not going on well, when they get confused, you know what comes out of their mouth? Negative words. Negative words. Negative thoughts. Negative imagination. By the mercy of the Lord, every negative word that has been going contrary to the will of God, they shall be removed in Jesus' name. I thought your email would be better. Look at Proverbs chapter 18. I beg to read with you verse 21. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. The Bible says, Ten and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Hallelujah. Death and what? And life. You know, some people they are spoken terrible words ahead. And you know what the devil, what the devil does is that he will put you in. Take, take, to it to a snare by virtue of the word that come out of your mouth. But today, by the blood of your those one are been shown. I said, what you have said out of ignorance is going to contrary to your life. I said, they are been shown. See, I'm coming home with my father. Every negative confession, every negative word that I've said, consciously or unconsciously, today they are been shown. By the blood of Jesus against my life, against my wife, you want to say against my children, you want to say against my destiny. I return them back by the blood of Jesus. I revert them back. Turn it to prayer, turn it to prayer. Mark Shaka Ayadalabando, Le Promo Gorema Sakako. Lord, I declare every negative word that I have spoken in the realm of the spirit that is walking contrary to my life, to my destiny. I reverse them back by the blood of Jesus. Because Jesus has said unto me, He's taught to us, He's taught to peace and not to evil. Therefore, I cancel whatever the enemy is standing unto, whatever the enemy is holding unto, and says that I will not. To feel in life, Lord, I cancel them. The one that have said negatively, out of anger, out of confusion, out of unpleasant situation, Lord, that is working against my life today, I reject them. I cancel them by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We do it to the praise and the glory of your name. Yes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. From beginning to the end, there's no place for yes. that land. You are the Lord of my life. You are the Lord of my life. You are the Lord of my life. From beginning to the end, there's no place for that land. You are God by yourself. You are God. You are God. From beginning to the end. And the is for You are God by yourself. This is to be thrown belong on to Solomon. It doesn't belong on to Adonijah. Hallelujah. No matter the manipulation that Adonija may try to put in place, he shall, he shall be betrayed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, I can you love my father. You love my father. I take my position in you. I take my righteousness in you. No one shall betray me. What you have proposed for me, I present them in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. so so I declare the counsel of God. Mm -hmm. Lord, Lord, I take my position in you. I take my righteousness in you. No one will dethrone me. Because the throne do not belong unto Adonijah. The throne belongs unto Solomon. By cancel of God, by divine arrangement, mm. I take my position in God. I take my position in you. Satan, you can never dethrone me. In the name of Jesus. The word of God says, yeah, I have the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Yes. Therefore, 
Whatever may be your cancer, whatever my life and my destiny, I cancel them. Please pray. Brother, pray. All you that are online, make sure you are praying. God is answering your prayers for us, Amen. He said, that you have never asked. He said, ask that your joy might be full. He said, ask and you shall see. You receive, seek and you will find. He said, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Make sure you are praying. Tell the Lord, I take my position. I am not beneath, I am above. The Lord Jesus said it in Ephesians chapter 1. He has his principalities and power. He made the shape of them so open. And the Bible says he is the head of the church. Because he seated at the right hand of God. Begin to tell the Lord, Lord, I am not beneath, I will get to my destination. I will get to my throne. In the name of Jesus, please pray. I am a friend of mine who is also in UK today. We just mistakenly enter into one chance. Hallelujah. Amen. We started the seminary then somewhere in Yaba Church. I'm talking about the, in, in the 90s. And as we enter that vehicle, we discover suddenly that we are in the den of the wicked one. And I told them, I said, ah, you have carried wrong people. Oh. You have made a mistake. You have carried one people. You know what happened. By the time we were going along Lagos, in those days, when we begin to tell them, they just decide to drop us, both of us. We never knew when we get to Lagos, in expressway. And that's why they said, in the name of Jesus, you won't be the captain of the devil. Amen. I said, you will not be the captain of the enemy. Amen. Please look at Isaiah chapter 61. Jesus, what he did for us. Let me read here. Isaiah chapter 61. The Bible says in, in verse 1, it says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to do what? to bring the glad tidings to the me. To do what? to send, he sent me to bind up the broken matter, to proclaim liberty. Hallelujah. Ever say liberty. liberty. Liberty to the captives. Lift up your right hand and say, after, Oh Lord, my father. Oh Lord, my father. I receive my freedom. I receive my freedom. Oh Lord, my father. Oh Lord, I receive my, my freedom from every me. captivity. I receive my possession from every day of the wicked. The, the party you have gone to give you for me, I will possess it. In the name of Jesus, we are turning to prayer, turning to prayer, oh Lord, my Father, whatever that belongs unto me, that is the covenant of the wicked, I possess it. In the name of Jesus, I have got them past. In the name of Jesus, I possess them back because you have settled it on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Father, because I am no more under bondage. I am delivered. I am free. I am free. I am part of the Holy Ghost. I am free. The Bible told us to proclaim liberty to the captives. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Open of the prison. This is what Jesus has done for us. I am no more bound. I am free. I am open. Every case of darkness, I am open. Every case of the wicked, in the name of Jesus, my name is Kela Galabasa. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I proclaim my victory. I proclaim my victory. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. We have very short time in it, but I want you to pray this prayer. Isaiah chapter 45 is a very interesting aspect of this prayer. Make sure that you pray with all your faith. Isaiah chapter 45, look at verse 2 and 3 there. Amen. Isaiah chapter 45, look at verses 2 and 3. And I beg you to pray this prayer very well because God is working on your behalf. You will not Amen. go empty handed. You know, we will visit you. We will testify the witness of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Verse 2. I will go before thee. I love that. And make the cool places straight. Hey, I thought you would say better in there. Amen. I will break a busy the gates of grass. 
Amen. I will cut asunder the bars of iron. Amen. Amen. What a sweet promise. What a sweet promise. You are going to prophesy to yourself. Look at verse 3. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness. Amen. Oh my God. I love this. And then I will and hidden riches of the sacred places. That yes. thou may know that I, the Lord, which call thee by my name, Amen. I am the God of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to apply your faith now. You know, the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1 and chapter 11, verse 6, it says, He that cometh unto God oh. must believe that he is. And he's a reward. Everybody say rewarder. Everybody say rewarder. Reward. Reward. God will reward you tonight. Amen. Whatever may be your blessing, your treasures, that is the coming of the week, it shall be returned back to you. Amen. I am the old Lord, my father. Amen. I break asunder. Break asunder. Every path of iron. Every bounce of fire, break and sound, every gaze of grass, every gaze of green. my blessing in the name open of Jesus. my joy, open my progress. I pray them. Go about to pray that prayer. Break in peace. I break, break and every name. gaze of grass, every brass of iron that is forgiving my blessing in the realm of the spirit. I clean them back. In Kalabash, I clean them up. Whatever the enemy has close up today, I clean them up in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that the mention of the name of Jesus, every name must bow and every tongue must confess that, the, that, that Jesus is the Lord. Therefore, I apply my faith and I declare every case of grass, every grass of vine. I turn them asunder in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We pray. Amen. Verse 3. I want you to pray verse 3 very well. Pray it into reality. He said, I will give you the treasure of darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, the Bible said the light shines into the darkness. And darkness will not appear. Lord, say, I can go love my father. Lord, my father. I speak to you. I speak to you. Darkness. Permit my blessing. Permit my treasures. Permit my glory. We are turning into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak forth. Let the light shine into darkness. Whatever might be my treasure, whatever might be my blessing, whatever might be that power possessed for me, that the enemy is holding back, I possess them back. I possess them back. I possess them back. Every reading treasures, every eating treasures. And you read these secrets in daily places, I receive the power because Jesus has set me for me. I am no more, I am no more a play. I am a victim. I am no more a victim in the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Amen. I want you also to pray this prayer. Whatever may be your desire, Jesus will give unto you. Amen. I said, Jesus will give unto you. In Isaiah 54, listening to verse uh, 15 there, he said, I am the Lord that created the smith that blew the coal in the fire. He says, I am the one that created the waster to destroy. Yeah. Verse 17 says something very critical. You all know it. He said, No weapon. For my against me shall prosper. And every thought that what that rise against me in judgment, as I what put on them. Hallelujah. Can you use authority? Say, after the old Lord, my father, no more devour, no more wisdom, no more affliction, no more sickness, no more sitting influence over my life, over my family, over the church of God. Over the ministry God has committed to my hand, over my career, oh, yeah, begin to turn into prayer. Oh, Lord, my Father, 
This is your war. You said no weapon of the enemy fashion against me shall prosper. Every tongue that it writes against me in judgment shall be put to condemnation. Lord, I declare and decree, oh God, Masaki Kataga Galibata. Oh, I declare and decree, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon in the realm of the spirit, no weapon of affliction, no weapon of financial constraint, no weapon, oh God, of evil libation. I cancel them. It shall not prosper. Over my life, no weapon of evil dream. Oh God, I am free. I am free. I am free. I am free. Masike Kataya. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Spirit of God said unto me, There are three people under the sound of my voice. You are online. You are having a terrible dream, and it comes at in Taba. As we are praying, the Lord said, I should tell you, you have received your freedom. Amen. That thing will not come up again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's a man online there. You have a challenge with your daughter. The devil is telling you that that lady will not make it in life because of some strange things that are happening. As we are praying, the Lord said, I should tell you that that lady will become a, a delight for you and your family. Amen. And you lift up your hand and begin to appreciate God tonight. So God will begin to do a great things in your family. Begin to talk to God. What is your desire? What do you want God to do? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I know you are able to do a sitting there abundantly. Begin to commit that which you desire from God. Pray to God. Pray to God. Tell him this prayer meeting will not go empty and then. Lord, I possess my possession. Because you have settled it on the cross. No more blood transfusion. Over that or your uncle that is sick presently, uh, yeah. the blood of Jesus is fighting that blood, is replacing that blood. That that mm -hmm. ailment that, yes. that, that that man is nursing that is leading under under mm -hmm. my voice now. The Lord said, I should tell you that sickness, you will not see it again. Mm -hmm. You will not see it again. Mm -hmm. You will not see it again. Mm -hmm. There is a lady under the sound of my voice. You have been sitting for a particular course exam. And you have been failing. The Lord said, I should tell you, next one, you will be victorious. Yeah. Begin to thank God because God will bring it to pass. You will testify. You will testify. You will testify. You will testify. Somebody is having arthritis under the sound of my voice. The word of God will kill you now. By the strap of Jesus, you are here. By the strap of Jesus, you are here. By the strap of Jesus, you are here. You begin to thank God for what the Lord has done. Begin to appreciate God. Begin to appreciate God. Begin to appreciate God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's able to deliver and to say, My God is able. Abundantly, to deliver those who trust in him. He is able, to deliver and to save. My God is able. If your enemy can resign that of your neighbor, it shall be well with you. Amen. Whatever the enemy has taken in the past, it is restored to you. Amen. As you are praying to now, your neighbor is so good. Yes. What the enemy has told that you will not be able to get, I declare you will get there. Yeah. What that the enemy at all you don't get to your hand, receive it yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I have by the covenant of the throne, I prophesy to you and your life, you are delivered. Yeah. That sickness will not kill you. Yeah. And you are sleeping tonight, the angel of the Lord will massage your body. Yeah. I prophesy that exam as you are sitting, you will overcome. Yeah. I tell you, we will overcome. Yeah. Then you will overcome. That yeah. negative dream you have been having for years. 
By the prayer of tonight, you will not see them again. Amen. I say your amen, Lord. I say you will not see them again. Amen. I stand here at the oracle of the Lord. I pray for you. I pray for you. Your heaven is open. Amen. 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 The Lord will not leave you. Amen. The Lord will not you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So you be the Hallelujah. Amen. Be Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Glory, glory be to you. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Reverend, thank you so much. We appreciate you so, so much. It's like uh, we should continue for more, 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 more hours. But because of the fact that we have an agreed time to finish. So, but I believe that uh, everyone will continue from where he has stopped through the power of the Holy Spirit. And uh, what we receive shall be with us forever in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to appreciate everyone that has joined. Yes, I can see many of you who join online that the Amo, thank you. My daughter, David, thank you. Um, every pastors, Mommy Smith, thank you. Mommy Mataju, Mommy Arokudare, God bless you, everybody. Amen. Your prayers will not be in vain. Amen. We have dividend, we have profit. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Brother Dotto, for life. I thank you so much, Mommy Rosaline. Everybody that joined Mommy Topa, yes, God bless you thank all you, in sir. Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody, Amen. I can see you. I can't Amen. mention the, everybody's name, but I know that the Lord God record with you Amen. and give you your due benefit in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. We want to we'll continue from here tomorrow. Definitely, it's going to be by half eight to nine o'clock. It's 30 minutes tomorrow and the Saturday. So by next, by Sunday, we're going to have a very special service. It's going to be post convocation service. I want the spirit of the convocation to see, you know, dwell with us. And then let's come in good number. Let's remember to invite our friends and family so that uh, we we'll continue to rejoice and have the time together as to how we had it during the convocation. So, Mommy Arukudari, any comments? Uh, thank you, sir. Um, yes, ma'am. Enjoy. Enjoy the prayer tonight. God bless. I did, uh, I did also. I also enjoy it. <laughs> God bless our daddy. Uh, yes. God, more anointing, more unction in more. the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I also enjoy the prayers. Yes. 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 It's like a revival meeting. Amen. Is that yes, right? Sir. Am I correct? Yes, sir. 
Is mm. anybody testify or agree with me that it's like a revival uh, meeting? My revival prayer. Yes. 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 <laughs> revival prayers. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Sir. Thank you very much. Thank everybody you, is thanking you, our reverend. Yes. yes everybody sir. is thanking you. I'm very sure you will enjoy. It. Yeah, I'm going to allow him to minister to us next week, Wednesday, too. Wow, yes. Yeah, it's going to be more special. Yes. yes. I can't wait to have him again and again. Looking Professor forward Sir. to it. Yes, I'm also looking forward to it. Yes. Thank you, Mommy. Mm. Thank you, Mommy. All right, I think we should share the grace now. Amen. Yes. Anybody talking? Yes, sir. Yeah. Please remind right. everyone about the care home visit for Sunday. Sir. Oh, th thank you. Yes, on Sunday we're going to visit our the care home as usual. Please let's be around. Let's be around. Yes, it's going to be a nice time. I think um, God is giving us that assignment. Thank you, sir. So that, thank you, Reverend. So that, yes, yes, mommy. So that we can be blessed. As a, as a result of that. Amen. So, I think we can share the grace now. Are we ready? Yes, sir. One, yes, two, sir. go. Maybe. With the Maybe. grace of our Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord, 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 Lord and the sweet and fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, God's goodness, goodness and mercy shall honor us all the days of our lives, and we shall, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord, Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 God bless you, God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Good night, everybody. Good night, mommy. Good night, Good night, mommy. Good night, mommy. Good night. Good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. God bless. Yeah. Uh, good night. Good bye night, bye. everybody. Bye bye. bye. Good night, sir. Good night, ma. Uh, good night. Bye. Good night.